Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will cover some of the important questions related to UT. So let's start our question answer series. The first question is what is the skip distance on a 10 mm thick plate with a 70 degree angle probe? So in this question, it is asking the skip distance. What is skip distance? Let us understand. See, this is your angle probe. And from angle probe, one beam will be emitted, that is ultrasonic wave will be emitted. It will strike at the bottom, sorry, just a second. It will strike at the bottom. Yes. So it will strike at the bottom of the test piece and then it will be reflected. Suppose there is, if there is no defect, here there is no defect, then if there is no defect, then it will pass through the welding and it will go to the surface of the test piece if there is no defect and if there will be defect then it will reflect back from here. So assuming if there is no defect then the wave will go to the bottom then it will go to the top. So the distance, the straight distance from the top that is this point, the straight distance from the top, uh, sorry from where the, from the top where the beam has reflected to the distance from where the beam has emitted. So this straight distance is called as the skip distance. Now the distance from the point where the beam has emitted to the distance at the first point at which the waves has strike at the bottom is called as normally half skip distance. So the point from which the wave has emitted to the point at which the wave has hit the job piece at the bottom is half skip distance and the point at the top of the surface where the wave has hit is called full skip distance. So normally full skip distance is called as skip distance. So the formula for calculating the skip distance is 2 into t into tan 70. 2 into t. t is the thickness of the material and tan 70 is uh, 70 is the angle of the probe. So the angle probe is of 70 degree. Here in the question it is mentioned that it is a 70 degree angle probe and the thickness of the job is 10 mm. So we will put 2 into 10 that is thickness into tan 70 and we will get as 54.94. So 54.94 is the exact value. So roughly it will be called as 55 mm. So, so we will see the option. Option D is the correct one. This is 55 mm. Now, before moving forward, I will request you to please join my channel. If you have subscribed my channel, so after subscribing my channel, you will see a join icon. And by pressing that join icon and by paying a very small amount, you can become a member of my channel and it, you can support my initiative financially. Now, this is the figure one and with, uh, there's, there are some questions related to figure one. So question number two is, see figure one, question number two is figure one illust illust uh, illustrates an ultrasonic test on a job. What does indication A represent? We'll see the figure. Indication A is here, means it is asking about this signal. What is this? So friends, this is a normal probe and if you see our job, so this is the entire thickness of the job. Now what happens if the material is sound, then the job ultrasonic waves will be emitted from the probe. It will go till the bottom of the job piece and it will ref be reflected from the bottom and it will again go into the probe. So at the bottom one echo will come and the bottom echo will, call, will be called as back wall echo. Now, assume if there is some defect, like one defect is here. So what will happen? The wave will, some of the wave will strike the uh, defect and it will reflect from the defect itself. So this is some of the, uh, some of the waves will go to the, till the bottom and some of the defects will strike from the crack itself. So there will be one echo at the back surface, that is the C at the back wall. This is the back wall echo means from where the ultrasonic waves has reflected from the job piece. 
and one more echo will be there at the defect and that echo is the point b so three you know three signals are there this this a is called as the initial pulse this is the initial pulse and b is the defect echo and c is the back wall echo so our next three questions are on this uh, points only so uh, indication a indication is the initial pulse or front surface indication so the initial pulse is the indication a so why indication a is there see what happens when the ultrasonic waves are emitted the piezoelectric material this that rings or vibrates and the material is emitted and again that material is received from the same transducer so there will be a time lagging and that lagging is uh, there and here you will have dead zone also this defect near to this you will not be able to get so this is the initial pulse now question number b is question number three is indication b represents so indication b will represent the defect the discontinuity indication see we cannot say any discontinuity as a defect only those discontinuity which will which will exceed the code limit that will only be called as a defect hence here we can call it as discontinuity if that discontinuity will exceed the code limit then only we will we will be able to call it as defect now question number 4 is what does the indication c represent so i have explained you earlier indication c is about the back wall echo or back surface re reflection so the option c that is back surface reflection is the correct answer now before moving forward i will again request you to please sub join my channel see after subscribing my channel you will see a join icon and by pressing that join icon and by paying a very small amount you will become a member of my channel and you can support my initiative financially now question number 5 moving a transducer over a test surface is referred to as so this is a very simple question transducer is a probe so if you move the probe on the test surface why do you move the probe suppose this is the test surface and this is your probe so why do you move your probe on the test surface just because you have to scan that job so it is called as scanning so you scan the job or you to detect the defects and that scanning is done by moving the probe on the surface now question number 6 a piezoelectric material can see as i so shown you that uh, this probe in this probe what happens one piezoelectric material will be there and that piezoelectric material have a very uh, very means uh, natural phenomena that is it can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy and that uh, this ultrasonic waves are mechanical energy only so the piezo piezoelectric material can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy and it has the ability to do the vice versa also means it can convert the mechanical energy to electrical energy also means it can convert electrical to mechanical and it also can can convert mechanical to energy mechanical to electrical so this uh, this waves are mechanical energy only and the signal which is passed in the probe is the electrical energy so what happens this electrical energy will go to the piezoelectric material and that piezoelectric material will convert that electrical energy to the uh, ultrasonic waves it will make it as ultrasonic waves or mechanical energy now when the ultrasonic waves will go back to the probe the those waves will again hit the piezoelectric material and those piezoelectric material those ultrasonic waves will be converted to electrical signal and it will be sent back to the machine by the piezoelectric material so this is a very exclusive phenomena uh, by uh, according the piezoelectric material so the option uh, b is the correct one convert mechanical energy to electrical energy and vice versa vice versa meaning of vice versa is that the opposite is also correct means it can convert convert electrical energy to mechanical energy also so this is the phenomena shown by piezoelectric material so friends once again i will uh, request you to please join my channel and by joining my channel you can support my initiative friends we have come to an end of our today's video hope you like our today's video thank you very much